Hello, dear friends. My name is Zuhra Bakhchanan Jamaldinova, and today we are going to talk about infectious diseases, general information. So, the aim of our lesson formation of a positive oriented personality with a highly developed sense of responsibility and respect for the chosen profession. Also, contribute to the expansion of students' knowledge of medical terminology through the study of infectious diseases. The objectives of our lesson to introduce with the text infectious disease and develop students' listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills. So, what is infectious disease? Infectious diseases are the disorders caused by organisms such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. Many organisms live in and on our body. Uh, so uh, they are normally harmless or sometimes even helpful. But under certain conditions, some organisms may cause disease. So what are the causes of infectious diseases? Infectious diseases can be caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, and other organisms. For example, bacteria uh, may be the cause of throats, urinary tract infections, and tuberculosis. Viruses might be the cause of uh, diseases such as influenza, AIDS, and so on. Fungi, many skin diseases such as ringworm and others uh, are caused by fungi. Parasites, for example, malaria is caused by a tiny parasite that is transmitted by a mosquito bite from the blood. And other parasites may be transmitted to humans from animal faces. In this picture, you can see uh, several types of the uh, human infectious disease causes, such as bacteria, for example, the cause of tuberculosis, pneumonia, streptococcal infectious, diphtheria, tetanus. Um, scarlet fever, and so on. And the viruses are the cause of influenza, herpes virus, zoster virus, measles, German measles, mumps, and rubella. And the fungi, the cause of um, nail fungus, ringworm, and so on. There are several stages of infectious diseases. For example, the first period of incubation, uh, there are no symptoms. The second one is prodromal period or prodromal stage, where we can see the mild and generalized symptoms such as fever, weakness, headache, loss of appetite, and so on. The next one is the invasive stage. Here we can see specific symptoms for infectious diseases, for example, for diphtheria, for scarlet fever, for chicken pox, for mumps, and so on. And the last stage, here we can see uh, the process of convalescence when we see no symptoms and health return to normal or the death. So, each infectious disease has its own specific symptoms and signs. For example, general symptoms for infectious diseases are vomiting, coughing, fatigue, headache, diarrhea, high temperature, and aches. When we see bacterial infections, uh, there can be organ dysfunctions, rash, red rash, pain, swelling, chills and fever. So, uh, how do infectious diseases spread? We should know uh, different ways of spreading of infectious diseases. For example, from person to person when you cough or sneeze. 
from contact with another person, for example, when we kissing, by sharing our items such as caps and other things, through the contact with person or animal with an infectious disease, and through the bites and through the bugs such as mosquito or tick, from contaminated or improperly prepared food or water. How are infectious diseases diagnosed? So, uh, first of all, uh, doctors should test and examine the patient. How can we do examination of the patient? For example, by slabbing patient's nose or throat, getting blood, urine, stool or saliva samples, taking a biopsy or scrapping a small sample of skin or other tissue. And by the examination uh, of some parts of body, by x-rays, by CT, and other instruments. How can we treat infectious diseases? There are several ways of treating. For example, bacterial infections we can treat with antibiotics. Uh, when we see a viral infection, we use antiviral drugs. Fungal infections can be treated with antifungal medications, and parasites can be treated with antiparasitic drugs, and so on. How can we prevent infectious diseases? So, first of all, eat well balanced meals. Sleep about eight hours. Do sport. Try to avoid stress. Wash your hands and keep clean. And of course, get immunizations. As future medical workers, you should wear spe special medical clothes, such as gown, gloves, eye protection sunglasses, safety shoes, and so on. Also, please stay away from school, college, or work until five days after first developed symptoms. Wash your hands regularly using soap and water. Always use tissue when you cough or sneeze. What are the possible complications of infectious diseases? Here we can see brain inflammation, inflammation of the pancreas, kidneys, heart, and other human organs. Feedback. Answer, the, answer to the following questions. What is an infectious disease? What is the incubation period? How can we prevent infectious diseases? What are the main symptoms of infectious diseases? And please talk about periods of infectious diseases. Task. Select one of the infectious diseases and prepare a fishbone diagram. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.